the next step and I, let me say that I don't think all windows are the same that's why I don't really give you dimensions but I've given you flat balances that would just run on the rod on the rod so they are run on flat balances so once you take your measurement accurately and add a little allowance also and divide if, 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 if the balance is divided in three so you're going to um, do your maths and divide the balance in three and if it is in two you're just going to cut it in two so and it's good also to make patterns okay so if there's a little mistake and whenever you cut into a pattern you want to add half inch allowance but to be on the safe side always cut a little bit bigger so your width is important and your length is important so here i'm doing a miniature this is not for any specific window it's just to show you um, how this is done so i have my fabric here and the next step is to decide the depth of my curve so from the bottom here i measure five inches okay and i draw a line across and where I want my peak to be and my curve to be is three and a half inches, three and a half inches. Okay, then I take my pencil or my pen and I shape, I shape my curve. All right, once I get that, I cut it out. I now open it and this is what I have. Now, um, as I said, this could have been done differently, but I'm trying to do it the simplest way for you. So in order to get the real design, you could have cut off this area and then attach it to this, which is very, very difficult. So what I did, I Oh my Lord. I'm sorry if it's taking so long. I don't want this video to be too long. What I did was placed it on my fabric and I cut two. All right. Also, when you cut this, you cut two, you are going to turn it to the wrong side, stitch all around, leave the top for the rug pocket. But before you stitch it, you need the other piece. How do you get the other piece or two pieces? So I got my fabric again. I place it there. I take my pattern and I line it up. One has to be longer than the other and you don't want to be doing it from the bottom here. One has to be longer than the other and you don't want to be doing it from the bottom there so you line it up with the fabric bottom fabric and you cut to the shape another thing you do you extend it to the top okay so if the window is um, say 25 inches you want to make one shorter than the other and you can decide on that now this is what I'm trying to do so now you line up everything here, all right, for the rug pocket, and this is the design that we have at the bottom. So when you finish stitching, you place the shorter one on top of the bottom one. And the same thing that you do, you cut two pieces for each pattern. So if you have three of these at your window, um, you're going to double up on all three. They're all lined. And as I said before, it depends on the... Um... Good afternoon. This is Sharon from Everything Beautiful. Today, I designed a collapse balance for you uh, with three medallions and some tassels. And um, I've given you the instruction as to how to cut this pattern and so sews also, so you can watch until the end of the video. Um, if you notice here, uh, one of the medallion is a little bit different from the other one. When you reach, you, you double the fabric for all of them, okay? So three medallions will give you um, six pieces of fabric. Uh, 
two lining, three lining, sorry, and four decorators fabric. Now the top one is the decorators fabric, that is what we call it. And the facing or the lining is the one um, beneath and you use that one to finish. So you put them together, um, stitch them on the wrong side, um, turn them and um, press and ensure that they are okay simple as that with this one though you cut it a little shorter so if you notice here it's cut a little shorter it's designed just like the other two but when you reach here you cut it a little shorter and what you do when you're doing this you stitch this one and then stitch this one so you cut this and you stitch it and you let this remain as is and you stitch it and then you place the blue over the white and stitch it to the other side that's an easy way to finish this I've also shown you um, how another way how you could have actually done the collops this could be cut off and you know place in between two pieces of fabric and um, and stitch but that's a lot of work so the method that I've used is very simple and I hope that you will enjoy <laughs> making this video and also here I am wondering about the rod pocket if maybe you could you know fold over everything and just stitch and then run it through the rod or run the rod through it I'm not certain it, it could be done that way and um, these uh, medallions are cut a little bit different if you notice here it has a little tuxedo look so um, you will see that also in the video and um, we have tassels at the end I just cut these from the fringe that I have and just tuck them to the end there so this is it um, I think this is another this is another beautiful balance and I hope you'll be inspired and I hope you'll be creative and I also hope that you make this balance this balance also could be used in the bathroom in the kitchen the bathroom is um, average bathroom is 72 inches by width what you could do is divide that into 25 inches three pieces of 25 inches and design this balance also for your bathroom and for your kitchen it depends on the width of your kitchen you know your kitchen window you could do it and remember these balances can be used anywhere in your home happy sewing thank you for watching please remember to like share and subscribe have a good evening oh you will have to decide on the measurement that you want and um, I decide how much I want to fold back so on this paper it's going to be two and a half and I drew a straight line I now shape it this way coming over there and I will now cut to see if I have the shape that I really want curve the end like this and I'll shape it up later and it's two pieces of fabric as I always tell you you line them if you want to depending on the fabric that you're using oh so you would stitch right around right around come back around leave the top this part will go in the rod pocket you now fold it back as you see it looks like a tuxedo so this is the way it's done and you can decide on the length that you want okay so this is what I have there